Come. What is happening? You refuse to tell anybody what the matter is. Tell me, I'm your friend. <sighs> Jesus. This is getting out of hands. Vaughn, please. I can't watch you cry out your eyes. Just tell me, tell me what is wrong with what is wrong with you? Vaughn, please. Vivian! What's my breakfast? Breakfast? Did I hear you say breakfast? What do you need breakfast for? Is it for you to leave? Look at this wicked Carlos Modra. Men like you deserve to die. You don't need to leave. Baby, please forgive me. Just see it as an incident. As an ugly incident that's up. Let's put it behind us. Get this filthy ass off me! Don't touch me! I hate 
hate you! I hate you! You want me to forgive you? I'll never! I'll never! Precious, wait. Precious, if you ever step your foot in my house again, I will deal with you. Evil man, may God punish you. Nonsense. I will stone you with my shoe. Get out. Never will surely catch up with you. Nonsense. Hello? Good day. Am I on to Mrs. Vivian Sweet? Yes, speaking. I'm Dr. Fates from Venus Hospital in the island. Your husband had an accident a few hours ago. I was brought to our hospital. This is evening. Does that mean you've not eaten anything since? Uh, no, but um, I'm expecting her to bring food for me. Okay, but nevertheless, I mean... It's getting late and sad news like this is supposed to bring her faster than now. Yes, uh, I'm sure she'll come. Uh, speak of the angel. Sweetheart! So, you this wicked man. This is where your wickedness has landed you. I told you, Nemesis will surely catch up with you. Is she your wife? Yes, she is. Madam, this is a hospital and it's not the time for you to pour scorn up. Pass book here. No, doctor. I'm very sorry. You won't understand. This man here is wicked and callous. You. This is just a tip of the iceberg. You will surely be paid in your own coin. Nonsense. 
What is going on here? Is she truly your wife? Um, I'm really sorry about the embarrassment. It's uh, sort of complicated. Anyway, I've gone through your file. And I found out that you don't have internal injury. Are you serious, doctor? Yes. Another good news is that you're going to be discharged tomorrow. Oh, that's wonderful, doctor. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll take my leave now. Um, nurse, please. I am famished. Could you help me get something to eat, to buy something for me? I've got some money here. Don't worry, I will get you something to eat. I, I insist, I, I, I must give you some money. And I insist as well. I will get you something to eat. Thank you, bless you. <sighs> Sometimes, I wonder what qualities you think you have as a wife. I really don't understand this nonchalant attitude you have, even when you knew I was gravely ill in the hospital. Sometimes, I, I, I swear you really want me dead. Don't ever utter such words to me again. Nonsense. What? Vivian! Vivian! Just forgive me, okay? There's no reason for you to move out of our matrimonial bed into this place. We agreed to stay together for better, for worse. Why, why would you come inside here? Forgive you. Did I hear you say forgive you? I will never forgive you. Read my lips. You are callous and wicked, and you deserve to die. Vivian. Don't, don't say things like that. Words are powerful. Vivian, please, I'm begging you. If for nothing else, let's at least face this reality we're facing and, and look towards the future that we have. It's such a huge future, please. Reality? What is reality? What, what do you mean by reality? Thank you. 
insane. Only fools blushing, but I can't help falling in love with you. Hey, dear. Hey, dear. Hey, dear. You want to listen? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, -hmm. Daddy, my result. Hmm? Your result? Yes. Finally. Let's see. Uh, English language. A1. Mathematics. A1. Physics. A1. Igbo language. We'll talk about that. Chemistry, A, but how many A's do you? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight A's and one P in your own language. Come on, give me a hug. Mwah. Well done. Proud of you. I'm proud of you too, Daddy. Well, are you showing this to your mom yet? No, not yet. Where is she? Upstairs. Well, you go and show this to her. Maybe, maybe you deserve some ice cream or, or something like that. But for this one, you're going to do extra moral classes for it. Okay? Okay, sir. You must be able to speak your language. Inugo, good. I'm proud of you. Nice one. Yes, I've been looking for you all over the place. What is it you're reading? Reading a book. Thank you, Daddy. I told you, if you get all A's, I'll fulfill my promise. Even though you did not get all the A's. I'm sorry about that. Yes, you will pay for it. 
Hmm? So I can rest now, finally. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you to your reading. Yes, 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 yes. Dad, why do you creep in on me like that? I'm sorry. But what are you doing up at this ungodly hour studying? It's past 2 a.m. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine and I'm reading. You should be in bed. It's been up since 9 p.m. I'm fine and I'm reading. I want to have one of the best jam results. I've become a renowned medical doctor. I want to make you and mom proud. I want to bring honor to myself. And to you, my beloved parents, and to the entire nation. And hard rock is the only sure way. I know, but still. Dad, don't worry about me. I'm fine. My system accepts what I'm doing. Just go to bed. I'm working hard, and I'm putting my best. So that someday I'll be like you and mommy. You know, more pleasure. But now it's time to work hard for it. Just get to bed. Okay, I've heard you. I'll just round off now. Good night. Yes, Ma. You, you, you've left the room and come to this. I haven't had any for a long time now. Please. Huh? Please. I'm begging. No. Baby, I'm your husband now. Eh? Why should you deny me my rights? I've, how many weeks have you had anything? I'm starving you. I'm dying. Sir? Are you still around? Yes. Why are you asking? Because I know you're not always around at this time. Thank you for your concern. If you must know the truth, I am simply running away from all my troubles at home. So once again, thank you. 
¿Qué es amor? It would be nice for you, Joe and Vivian, to tell us exactly what happened on that fateful day, because we will be fed with different versions of the story. Thank you, my kinsman. I will relate everything exactly as it happened on that fateful day. Doris? Doris, are you still getting ready or leaving, oh? Baby, I don't subscribe to Doris going with us. Must she? I think she stays and attend her extra moral classes. She's coming with us. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I am good to go. There you go. All set? Yeah. Good. Honey. I prefer you stay and attend your extra moral classes. No, mom. Please cut me some slack. If I could make my wire without extra moral classes, then skipping lesson for just a day won't cost a thing. You see that? This is a true daughter of her father. So she hasn't been to Badon before, so what better time to go there than today? Absolutely, dad. Mom, please, don't spoil my happy moment. Oh, okay. If you insist. Yes, I insist. She does insist, so please don't bust her bubble. Shall we please, 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 we're late. Good day, sir. Good day, ma. Please help me. I'm stranded. What are you doing along this lonely road? Sir, I didn't know I boarded this one chance bus. So on getting here, they placed me off all my money and pushed me out. Right now, I have no money on me at all. I have my ATM card, but there's no bank around where I can make withdrawals. I've been trying to stop um, commercial buses and private vehicles, but no one has agreed to stop to help me. Please, sir. I'm stranded. Help me. Please, ma. I'm a youth call member. Do you have any proof that you are a call member? Yes, yes, I have. My ID card is here, sir. Please, ma. Please, sir. Where are you headed? Um, if I don't. Alright. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. God bless you. Finished secondary school? Mm, yes, I just finished secondary school about a few months ago. Wow, so fast. Like, seriously, I've taken a shot at the fourth from Wow. Hmm. So, what course do you want to study? It's. Um... Wow, you must be really brilliant.
Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! No, 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 please, 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 please. Get out! We want this done fast. We need a head. A head? What do you need a head for? Ritual. Please. Please, for take, the car, take, take the car, take anything you want, please. Leave no. my family alone, I'm begging you. No, mister, we don't need money. Million or billion, all that is important to us now is one head of any of these youngsters. Which one do we take? Please, take me instead. Just please leave my family alone, I'm begging you. Please, please. No, mister, we don't need neither you nor your wife who have already completed her purpose on earth. So which one do we take? That's the privilege we can give to you. Donate one of these two. Now, quickly! No. You are wasting our time, mister. Do you want us to go for violence? Rako. Take her. is a murderer. Only you know what you did to my only child. All these things here camouflage. I saw this coming before it came to reality. Before this incident, I dreamt about this man giving out my only child to a ritualist. Well done. Check on her. Only to confirm it was a nightmare. Nightmare about her is so I went to her room to check if she's fine. Yeah, is that why you went screaming out of the of the room? And what are you doing down here? I came to check if the doors are locked. But that's my job, not yours. Have you checked on Doris? Yes, I have. And she's fine. Yeah. Good. Go upstairs and I'll check up downstairs, alright? Okay. Alright, darling. But then the interpretation of the dream by a pastor. I met indicated something fishy. Babe, there is danger. Danger? Your pastor said I'm about to lose my only daughter to blood money. This is serious. And I asked him if it means my husband is a ritualist. And what did he say? He said ton of events shall tell that I'll use my tongue to count my teeth. This is serious. I'm, I'm just tired. I've not been myself. Hmm, this is serious. I told you to watch your husband is up to something. Okay, I'll just um, make sure I pray as your pastor has advised. You should. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bless you. Too complicated to explain. Now, what more can I say? This monster is nothing but a ritualist. 
How can you explain this, my in-laws? His only child and a stranger. He gave his only child to be killed? Lies, lies, lies from the pit of hell. There is more to this than meets the eye. Sit down, Kate. Why are you making such remark? What happened has happened. We are here to calm nerves and broke at peace. Which peace? Broke a what? Broke a peace? With a callous, stone-hearted and desperate man? Who shut his eyes and used his only child? Ha! Huh. My lovely grandchild, for morning making. He did not consider the emotion of my daughter. Rendering her childless. He knows the complication she had during childbirth, which has ruled her out of childbearing. You beast! You go in there and pack your thing. You're going with me. Uh -uh. I can no longer guarantee your safety in this house. No, 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 please. Okay, boy. Welcome, boy. See service as uh, eating your flesh, eh? <laughs> Uncle, I would have been a forgotten being. What do you mean by being a forgotten being? Remember I told you it wasn't something that we could discuss on the phone. Ah, yes, yes. I remember you uh, calling me a while back uh, saying you needed to see me to talk about it. Well, what? you are here now. Let's talk about it. I still can't believe that there are some extremely good people in this cruel world of ours. What happened, Vaughn? What happened? It all started on my way to Ibadan from Lagos. I boarded this bus full of criminals. Uncle, they robbed us, took all my money, and then pushed me out of the bus. Wow. Well, thank God you are, you are okay now, huh? You are here, you're safe. Uncle, I was then on that road, on that lonely and dangerous road where they left me. I kept on stopping all the commercial buses, but no one agreed to give me a lift for free. Until one family, a husband, his wife and daughter, finally pitied me and stopped to help me. That was, that was kind of them. They, they tried. Uncle, some moments later, the worst happened. What? We were double-crossed by men of the underworld. Again? Uncle, the worst actually happened. These people stopped us and insisted that they wanted a head. The man sacrificed, rather opted to give his own life or any amount of money so that they could spare our lives. But they maintained that they wanted a head of either myself or his daughter. Uncle, you wouldn't believe that after a while, this man offered his own daughter 
and spared my life. Probably because he didn't want to spill the blood of a stranger who's me. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You mean he allowed them to take his own daughter in place of you? Uncle, they took the innocent girl away. Jesus Christ. Uncle, what a man. What a man who offered his own daughter and spared the life of a stranger. Wow. This is unbelievable. It's, it's unimaginable. I... Do you know him? No. I don't know him. Do you have his contact? Did you take his phone number or something? That's, that's the most painful part, Uncle. I cannot trace this man. No contact, nothing whatsoever. Oh no. That man must either be an angel or is definitely not from this planet. It's okay. Be careful so that that knife won't cut you. I it's know. very sharp. I know, I know. I'm <sighs> oh, sorry. Mm. Don't worry when I'm done with this. You bite your fingers. I know. I can't wait. <laughs> I know that's why you don't want to employ any house help. So you have monopoly over my stomach, Abby. Think I don't know your secrets. What do you expect? <laughs> I need to be in control of it because any woman who is in control of her husband's stomach controls everything. Everything? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh. No, don't bother. I'll, I'll do that. Well, what do you mean do it yourself? I'm here to help, aren't I? That's why I took my day off, to help you. Yeah? So let me do my thing, okay? Thank you very much. You're the best husband in the world. And you are the best wife in the whole wide world. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, is this enough? Yeah, it's fine. You sure? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, you want me to cut more? Yes. Alright. Uh... Ow. Oh, sorry. You okay? Yeah. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah. You sure you'll be able to manage? Yes. You okay. sure? Mm -hmm. Alright, let me just uh, pack this up. Yeah, let me try. Let me try. Uh, uh, Watch it, because you may be the next victim. 
My mom is even disturbing me to leave Jeff. She's absolutely spot on. Check it now. Just a few weeks after the mysterious death of your daughter, morning starts to roll in torrents. Your husband's sudden upsurge in fortune is questionable. It's shrouded a mystery. First, it was your daughter. Next, it might be you. God forbid. You may never know. Thank you very much. So this is the kind of conversation you come in to my house to have with my wife. Huh? To influence her to cause a rift between us. Thank you very much. Now get out of this house and never step foot in here with your poisonous gossip. <laughs> gossip? Where is the gossip? We are talking reality. Uh-uh. It's glaring. You are a ritualist. Everyone is acutely aware of the fact. Isn't it high time you own dub? Eh? Isn't he a ritualist? You say that to me. I beg, excuse me. Get out of my house. Get out of my house and never step foot in here again. Your house. You think I'll step foot in this house again? God forbid. Because we don't know whose head is going to be next to your house. I'm going. Your house. <laughs> your house, go. House, me. Do you see that? And so what? Didn't she say the facts? Didn't she say the facts? You got a dose of what you wanted. Nonsense. Okon! Okon! Yes, madam, I'm coming. Have you locked that gate? Hey, Grace! I don't lock that gate fine and good. Now, listen. I don't want anyone to pass through that gate. What, madam? Oga never come back. Come on, you shut up your mouth. Oga or no Oga, no one should pass through that gate. Ah, okay. No problem. What? Are you stupid? Give me that key. Give it to me. What's the meaning of that? What's the meaning of what? How dare you lock me outside my own house? I will do that over and over again. You ain't seen nothing yet. You've raised your hand against me. You are toying with the bell. Let me get it close.
What? What's John calling me at this time? Hello, John. Yeah, I can't hear you properly. Honey, could you lower the... Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, what, what did you say? I didn't hear you properly. We won the contract. How much? 350 million? Are you serious? How? Oh my goodness. This is nothing short of a miracle. I mean, two lucrative jobs in just 10 days. How do you do it? Yeah, granted, we did a great job on it, but still. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I'll come into the office tomorrow and then we'll finalize everything on um, in small print. Yeah, great job, great job, yes. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right, thanks. What's today's date? 24th. Exactly. The very day my sweetheart, the queen of my heart, was born. Behold, your birthday gift. Just so unfair. What is unfair? He said that you want me to smile and say thank you. What is unfair? He said that you want me to answer or accept that thing you bought pot with blood money. Vivian. Don't Vivian be. Stop claiming innocence. Everyone knows the source of your recent monumental breakthrough. I used to doubt it. But turn of events and sudden wealth has confirmed you use my only child. My only daughter for money ritual, which is vanity upon vanity. Vivian! I hate you. I hate you. You're a wicked man. You're a killer on the border. Damn you! You slapped me. I'm so sorry. 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 Back your 
cost it brings. But you rich man, it's not like that, please. We are asked to return the check of uh, 25 million scholarship award, which you offered uh, 150 students from our community. Is, is there a problem? Yes, Mr. Jeff. We are asked to return this money to you after our community development unions considered and deliberated that we should return the gesture. We are not too sure about the source of the money. money. Because we don't want little children's bright future to be contaminated because of money. We don't want to mortgage their future away. Yes. Yes, that is the message we come and deliver to you. Good day. Let's go. My love, please come home. You're all I've got, please. I hear. Jeff. Get up and leave now. Leave! My in-law, please. You're the one who is matured here. I don't want my home to fall apart. Ask her to come back to me. She's all I have, please. I'm all alone in my home. Jeff. Get up and leave now. Leave! Ma, please, I'm begging you. Please. Get your hands off my feet. I said leave this moment. Ma, please. Jeff, listen up. I don't want to ever see your bloody filthy feet in my home again. Until you explain the sudden fortune. Which after you killed your daughter. Nonsense, shameless man. M ma, my hands are clean, ma. The day I see you in this house again, I will kill you. I will show you I am the Iron Lady. I don't welcome persons of questionable character into my home. Now leave! Ma, please, I'm begging you. Please, ma. Hey! I'm begging get you. Get your hands ma. off my feet. Please. Leave! Uh, uh, leave! Sorry. Uh, I said leave! Yes, ma. Sorry. Uh, get out! Uh, I said get out! Get out! I said get out! Get out! Get out! Ritualists. Can you imagine? Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. Let him come again. You're resigning? Yes, sir. You got a job somewhere else? No, sir. It's nothing of such. <laughs> you want a pay rise? No, sir. That's not it. Okay. So, you don't have a job elsewhere and you do not want a pay rise. What is the problem? Have I done something to offend you? No, sir. It's my family's decision. They are no longer comfortable with me working here.
That's for the wonderful work you've done. That's uh, 1.5 million. Thank you, sir, but I can't collect it. Why? What, what's the problem? Nothing, sir. Okay. Uh, you've worked for me for almost a month now, so this one's your own pay for three weeks. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't take it either. I've been advised to not take anything from you. Uh, that's it. Thank you for everything. Mom, I will do as you said. I want a divorce and I'm tired. Honestly, I don't think this is the right thing to do at this point. What are you talking about? When will the right time come? My dear, divorce the bastard. The idiot. Mom, I'm trying to... Hey! Shut up! Your opinion is not welcome here, Alex. If you enjoy having a ritualist as an in-law, I don't. Alex, you need to understand. Mom is just spot on. For me, I've made up my mind I want a divorce and that's fine now. Exactly. Severe the union and officially separate from that bloody killer. If you don't, you may be the next. God forbid. I'll do as you said. My daughter, first things first. You formally notify him first and then we will file the suits. Okay? Thank you, mommy. Good. That's my girl. Doris. Doris. Is this you? They are the people who saved me. Please. Please. Daddy, it was never your fault. We are going to save her. But those hoodlums, they turned you down. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I told you. I understand. Don't cry anymore. I know you love me and I love you dearly too. Thank you. Sir, I'm really, really sorry for all the pains you must have passed through. Dad. Do you remember him? I may have seen him before, but I'm not sure where I saw him before. He's the core member we picked along the road on that fateful day. The one who you spared and sacrificed me. Jesus! What's going on here? I'm Vaughn, you stranger, you spared and gave your own, <laughs> your own daughter. I am Chief Benga and this is my nephew Vaughn. He told me everything that happened and I was and still I'm very amazed. Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined 
that a man with your kind of class still existed in this wicked world. You were faced with two choices and you chose the one that 99.9% .9 of the people on the face of this planet would never have. I, I still am short of the right words to describe your kind. It's God. It was very hard. But we have to follow God's dictates. My darling, how did it happen? It was the Lord's doing, sir. Hello, Richard. What's up? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh huh, please. I need that book. Is that my book? Yes, 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 yes. You don't think you can bring it to my house? <sighs> Why now? Why, Richard? <sighs> Please, I really need that book, Richard. You know if I don't get it today, it's going to ruin my presentation tomorrow morning. You what? <sighs> okay, you're in the office. Okay, how about I come collect it? Okay. Okay, let me see how it goes. Richard, you really, really stressed me up today. I had to cancel many engagements just to come down here to get this book. See, I am so sorry for the delay. I've not really had time. Even today, we've been working all day. Emergency everywhere. Look at me, I'm sweating. Look at me. I'm quite sorry. It's okay. All right, brother, take care. All right. Excuse me. Please, I want to see that girl. No, you can't. She just finished seeing the doctor and she's tired. She needs to rest. You can come back tomorrow. Thank you. Do, do you really know her? Y yes, I think I know her. Really? Wow. She was involved in a ghastly motor accident along Legacy Badon Expressway. She has been in coma over six weeks. She miraculously woke up today and so far we've not gotten any information or contact of her relative. So, I pity the poor girl. No problem. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll... Make sure you see me before coming there. My brother. Alright, take care. Doris. Doctor, what happened? Do you know her? Yes, I know her. Thank God to finally find someone that knows her. Her family gave me a lift on my way back from Lagos before some hoodlums caught up with us and took her away for ritual purposes. Wow, this is serious. Such a ridiculous act. Doctor, please, what exactly happened? How did she get in here? Well, she was involved in an accident. She has been in coma. We've been trying to reach her relatives. Um, according to reports, there are four in the vehicle. Three died. She is the only survivor. I actually called my uncle here because he, he he rushed down to the hospital. He just came back from Badon that week. He also footed Doris's hospital bills. My heavenly father, I thank you. I thank you, my Lord God, for always looking out for your people. I thank you, my Lord Jesus. I bless you. Bless you. No! Don't drink it, my daughter. But Daddy, give me, please. I'm thirsty. It's not water. Then if it's no water, then what is it? It's poison. 
What? Poison? What is poison doing here? I lost hope. I felt despair, the world crashed all around me. I just come back from buying this poison to take it. When all of a sudden you emerged out of the blues. My whole world crashed it all around me. Everybody rejected me, accusing me of using my own daughter for blood money. Everyone left me, even my beloved wife left me. I had no other option but to take my own life. I was right at the threshold of achieving that. When you, my sunshine, entered. I know. Please forgive me. That's a divorce letter I came to serve you. I know I've done a lot of wrong and said a lot of ill things. Please forgive me. Please. But mom, why? Why? Dad has always loved me. He volunteered to die for all of us on that fateful day. But this ritual is never granted his wish. He gave me up to them and saved them. Then a stranger. Because he didn't want anybody to say he picked and used someone's son for ritual purposes. Please forgive me. 